say what? It's day 72. I started out the day in St. Louis, Missouri, where I went to the Gateway Arch, which is also the Jefferson Memorial Expansion, no, Jefferson Expansion Memorial Park. Some combination of the four of those words, that's what it is. But that's where I started the day. I took the tram up to the viewing platform, maybe, of the arch. The tram is really interesting in that it's sort of like an egg-shaped pod that you get in. And there are five seats inside. I sat in both of the both of the times I took the tram up and down, in case you're wondering. Uh, there were only three of us total, and that seemed like a lot of people all in one tiny, tiny space. But the tram goes up, and it sort of changes direction, but you're always... You're always upright, but it just sort of, it's pretty awesome, I'm not gonna lie to you. The arch itself is 630 feet tall, and it's also 630 feet wide at the base. So from one foot of the arch to the other foot of the arch, it's 630 feet wide. So that's a pretty neat statistic, I think. That's what the ranger at the top told us. It also sways maybe nine feet to either side when it gets windy. Uh, it's meant to do that. It's an arch. It's okay. And they only shut down the arch when there are, I think, hail and tornado threats is what she told us. Anyways, the viewing platform is pretty neat. You get a view from both sides of the city. So on one side, you can see the river. And then on the other side, you can see the baseball stadium, the old courthouse, all of downtown. It's really quite a cool view from the top. After the arch, I bopped around a little bit. I walked around downtown and went to the old courthouse, which is where the Dred Scott uh, decision happened. Uh, if you're not familiar with Dred Scott, look it up. It's one of the first slaves that were that sued for their own freedom. And so that was a precedent setting case. So look into that if you have never heard of it. And if you haven't, what's wrong with you? Um, but the courthouse is pretty neat. It's old. They don't have the same room uh, that Dred Scott's trial was in because the structure was crumbling. So they had to build some walls. Anyways, a lot of cool things to see in the courthouse no matter what. Uh, although it did all feel sort of old and slightly unsafe, but I'm still here, aren't I? So I clearly made it out alive. Following a bop around, why do I keep saying bop? Following a walk around uh, some of the downtown St. Louis area, I headed to the Toyota dealership to get my car looked at because it was time to do that. I didn't take any pictures this time, but they had a really lovely waiting room and my car's totally fine. So Awesome news there. From the car dealership, I took a long, long drive up to Milwaukee, Wisconsin, which is where I am right this very minute. Long drives, as you know, aren't always fun, and Suzanne Tortola is a lifesaver. She gifted me with an Audible subscription, so I have downloaded some audiobooks, and the entire drive, I was listening to a book um, the selection by someone whose name I don't remember, Kira something. Anyways, riveted. Haven't finished it yet because the book is longer than the drive and I'm dying to know what happens and I'm trying really hard not to go on the internet to look because I know I could do that just as easily. Anyways, Suzanne Tortola, thank you. Here's a fish face just for you. compelling, right? That is it for day 72. I'm going to go find some dinner. You should go find a meal and I'll see you all tomorrow for day 30. 30? Day 73. Oy vey. Bye.